Hello everyone, my name is Ehab and this is English with Ehab where we talk about English, we practice English, and hopefully by the end of this lesson we learn something about English. Uh, the topic for today is one of my favorite topics. It's going to be adjective clauses. Uh, the reason why I like adjective clauses is because it gives English learners a different way to say something and a different way to write something. Now, the lesson today is really just going to be the basics, uh, nothing complicated, just really the basics and the foundations of how we create a sentence which contains an adjective clause. So, let's go to the board. Okay, so these are the examples that I have on the board here, and I'm going to show uh, quite a bit of other ones a little bit later, but let's take a look at this one here. So, let's say that I have two sentences. I know a woman. She is nice. Uh, it's perfectly okay to have two separate sentences. Grammatically, everything is fine here. When we say she, we are talking about the woman. But there are other ways that we can write it as well. So you can just use an adjective. I know a nice woman. That's a different way to write it or say it for that matter. Another way that you guys can write it is you can use an adjective clause. I know a woman, I can say who or that is nice. When we are talking about people, we say who or we can say that. Another thing, make sure this verb here agrees with this subject. All right, that's important. If I say woman, it's one, so I should, uh, should say is. Now, that's for people. Let's talk about objects. Steve has cars. They are fast. So I can say Steve has fast cars. That's one way I can say it or write it. Another way is by using adjective clauses. Steve has cars. I could say that or which are. It's very important that I need to change that verb are fast. The reason I say are is because we are talking about cars. All right. So keep that in mind. When we're talking about objects, we can say that or which. When we are talking about people, we can say who or we can say that. All right. Let's look at some more examples. The next examples I'm going to show you are going to be common errors and mistakes that are usually done uh, when an English learner is creating a sentence with an adjective clause. Okay. So on the board right behind me are five common errors that I have seen from students uh, over my years of teaching. So I'm going to go one by one, identify what the error is, and then show you how to correct it. So let's take a look. Number one, I know a man who he is nice. The problem in this sentence is he. Remember, when we use words like who, or that, or which, basically what they do is they replace the pronoun. So you never have to say he, or she, or it. You can get rid of that and simply say, I know a man who is nice. Number two, the women which work at night are tired. So the error here, can't say which. Remember, we only use which if we were talking about things, not people. So this one here, I can say the women that work at night or tired, or you can also use who work at night or tired. You can use both of them. Number three, the movie that I see last night was funny. The mistake here is this verb. Remember, the verb tense, which is inside the adjective clause, can be anything. It can be present, it can be past, it can be future as well. So, if it says last night, I need to change that and say saw. The movie that I saw last night was funny. Number four. The laptops, which is on the table, are broken. Now, I mentioned earlier the verb, 
right? The verb is very, very important inside the adjective clause. The mistake here, can't say is, because we said laptops, which is two or more. So the laptops which are on the table are broken. The last one, the, sorry, I made a mistake here, the book. The book is on the table, which is interesting, okay? Now, the problem with this one is where we are putting the adjective clause. I shouldn't put it at the end right here. I should put it close to the noun that I'm describing. So, the book, put it right here, the book, which is interesting, and then say, is on the table. So make sure that the adjective clause comes right after the subject or the noun that you are describing. All right, let's go ahead and get to the conclusion uh, right now where we finalize everything and see what we've learned. And on the board behind me are seven sentences. At certain points, uh, I'm gonna ask you for three choices here. We have to decide how we are going to complete these sentences. Either we complete it with who, with that, or with which. Also, for the last two sentences, not only am I asking you for one of those three choices, but I'm also asking you for the verb. Uh, again, if you can understand these sentences right here, uh, you should be very, very good to go with the basics of adjective clauses. So, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, number one, the house blank across the street is big. Now, remember, if it's not a person, you can say that. You can also say which. So we use that and which for things. So once again, the house, that or which, to put a verb there, is across the street is big big. Now, the second one, the student blank comes late to class, gets low scores. So remember for people, we can say the student who or that comes late to class, gets low scores. People, we can say that or which, I'm sorry, that or who. Number three, the TV blank is on Sorry, I'm making a lot of mistakes today, sorry about that, is on the table is expensive. So again, it is an object. So the table, I can say that, I can say which. Lisa wears shirts, same thing, that or which, look nice. I saw a movie. That or which was funny. So again, if it's not a person, we want to use one of those two. Now, Tom makes meals. So we know meal is not a person, so we can say that. We can also say which. Now, the next thing or the next question, what do I say? Do I say is or do I say are? Okay, should be R. Now, why? Why is it R? Because we say Tom makes meals. Meals is two or more. I talk to teachers. Now, teachers are people, so we want to say who. We can also say that. Now, do I say is or do I say are? should be R because again, it says teachers. So remember, the noun that you are describing is very, very important uh, because again, it's going to affect the verb, uh, specifically when it's in the present tense, okay? So again, quick review here. The house that is across the street is big or the house which is across the street is big. The student who comes late to class, gets low scores, or the student that comes late to class gets low scores. 
the TV that is on the table or which is on the table is expensive. Lisa wears shirts that or which look nice. I saw a movie that was funny. I saw a movie which was funny. Uh, Tom makes meals that are spicy or Tom makes meals which are spicy. I talk to teachers who are funny or I talk to teachers that are funny. That's it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you learned something uh, today. Please subscribe and like uh, the video. Uh, again, they help out the channel tremendously. And also leave a comment down below about future lessons that you would like to see. Uh, remember, keep speaking English. Bye-bye.